everybody! How's it going today? Um, I'm having a little bit of a cranky day, so I figure I'm just gonna art for the sake of arting. And uh, I just started um, a composition book junk journal. I know, I totally don't need another one. Uh, I've got, I think, four or five going now. Um, but I like the size of this. Like, I've been hoarding magazine clippings that are too big to fit in any of my other journals. So this is like a perfect thing to fit in this. And this is just going to be like, you know, not not worrying about it. Like, the other ones I kind of worry. I wanted things to be good. It, like, you know, you know how it gets. But this one, I'm just like throwing stuff in there. Um, so I have... Um, I saw it from Sugar's channel, and she references another channel, which I don't remember. I'll probably put it in the, the description box below. So she has like... A method for like breaking it in and I followed that so um, some of it well, that's a couple, some of it is going through and I just took like my really cheap um, ink pads and just like ran them over the paper another one is just like crumpling paper up to get some texture um, I've already glued some stuff in here um, so gluing in papers um, I've got spreads like I'll, that's what I'll be doing with you guys first. Um, and this is another little spread that I did, magazine clippings. Just, like, pretty stuff. They, they weren't even, like, the same page, and I just put them together as some cute deco tape. Um, trying to find some other... I'm not finding anything else. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you stick in paper. You, um... Yeah. I, just stuck I didn't have, like, deco paper, like, or, um scrapbooking paper, so I just use magazine clippings that I really like. Um, I did a few sessions on cranky days of just like sticking stickers. <laughs> Which works! The sticking of stickers works. Um, I've had these Made in Canada stickers since college, so it's going back about 15 years now. And uh, these are stickers that I don't really like, but it's fun sticking stickers, so I stuck them in there. And together they, they look kind of not so bad. So, um, I'm going to glue down all the loose pieces that I have stashed in there already. And um, the other thing that they recommend is just putting in random uh, fibers to help reinforce the spine. Because it's just like folded over paper and it's just like kind of duct taped. So, welcome to my new, uh, in my new desk. Um, and uh, do I have? It's a bit more cramped. I don't have as much room. Oh, here we go. Some of my, you know, like I used to have like containers stacked pretty high. Some of them are just stacked on the floor under my desk. All right, I guess we'll go with purple. Purple. So that uh, some of these are just like really fancy things. Like I, this is a clipping from years and years and years ago. I hope you guys can see. Um, I, I, testing the new lighting too. I might need to put a fill fill light on the other side because um, before I was in a corner, so like I just put my uh, soft box, and uh, it would just like fill the light. So I'm just gonna take off a bit of the bottom. It's a bit boring. I'm just gonna take this this green strip off. I don't remember what magazine this is from either. Yeah, I, I keep these little scraps. I put them in my bullet journal sometimes. Alright. I don't know what else will wind up on this page. And I might not do a full page, although I have ideas, kind of, for stuff. And I have, like, other cutouts too, so I don't know. Just chill out with me and a little art. And, uh, yeah, let's see, I haven't done just a art with me. I've done some tutorials and some flip-throughs. No, just general arting. And if you can see me in the frame, pardon the pajamas. But it's a day where I don't want to adult. <laughs> um, I guess part of the reason why I'm cranky... I started a new job yesterday, and it's fine. New job's cool. That's not why I'm cranky. But, um... I think in other videos, if, if you're a follower, uh, I talk about having chronic pain because um, I'm a spoonie. I don't have fibro 
Um, but I have a lot of the same symptoms that someone with fibromyalgia would have, um, except my pain all stems from uh, a problem in my wrist. Um, but I get like fatigued, I like, it's terrible. <laughs> I won't rant the whole video about it. But I'm guessing I'm just having like a very big fatigue day and just it, it makes it so just everything irritates me. <laughs> I don't know, let's see. I have... Oh, these are all kind of... Okay, they're more food stuff. That'll be for like another collage page. They're all kind of... I should... Oh, yes. I want... I think I'm going to subscribe to some seed catalogs just to have all these like pretty little plant and vegetable and flower thumbnails. I think that's going to be pretty cool. So, one done. <laughs> Nothing complex. Some flowers. Oh yeah, this is like something I actually wanted to, uh, put together. I don't want the Hugo, but it would have been nice to have the whole page. Oh, well, I can always deco tape it. Um, I guess another thing, like, you know, it's crafting, but if you don't like me or, you know, things that I deal with, or things that are important to me, then you don't have to like my channel or follow it. Um, I identify with being non-binary, gender-wise, um, was born physically female, but I don't identify with being female, nor do I identify with being male, but I like gender bending, or gender neutral, or gender androgyny. So I, I have a fascination with menswear. And I thought this was really cool. It like explains the differences between how waistcoats or um, jackets button up. I thought it was fascinating. So in it goes with uh, this kind of androgynous person. So I'm just pasting down stuff that I like. Don't really care about the Hugo, so this will go over top. And then some, like a suit pocket. Maybe I'll add other stuff as I find it in magazines that I like. Doo -doo -doo. So that's a little tidbit about me, but it's not like I'm not. I identify a lot with transgendered persons, but I'm not transitioning or anything like that. So all the people that know me before just think of me as a female, and that's that. And I'm not gonna fight with it. People will perceive me as they perceive me, and that's that. Although, if someone were to ask, I do prefer pronouns they, the neutral ones. They're the least confusing, I think, and I don't know, I default to them a lot. Was you know, sometimes you just don't know, especially like, I lived in Montreal for quite some time, which is a very diverse city, which is awesome. But uh, you never know who you're going to come across or who you're going to encounter, so I kind of default to safe territory. <laughs> this glue dries so fast. It's insane. Like, it's still sticky, but the purple phase, I don't know if it's kind of crazy, but yeah. Is if it doesn't stick to the paper, <laughs> it's all drying too fast. I am really not being careful. I'll trim the rough edges as I go. I'm just shoving stuff onto the journal. Let's see. That one's glued down. spread. I really like it. I'm happy with that. I'm happy, happy with that. Oh yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with the middle of this, but I loved this picture frame. And it goes, oh yeah, I did some random stamping too. You can see it through the page. Stamping! I love it. I found it in the bargain bin at Michael's. It was like 99 cents for like two stamps. And if, yeah, you haven't noticed, 
the end of every um, every video, like I have like a picture posted at the end for like the thanks for watching and that spiel. Um, they're all my photographs. I'm a photographer, so I do. Um, I'm just gonna glue this down better. I do for just my pleasure, um, a lot of uh, nature and, and scenery, landscape photography. But I also do like portraiture and weddings and stuff like that. I'm working on a wedding right now too, so I like the journaling as well for, uh, I just like these two together. Um, I like the journaling too for so if I stare at pictures too long when I'm editing, I start doing stupid things. Um, so either I'll play like 15-20 minutes of Nintendo, which is all I can, like like old school Nintendo, NES Nintendo. I have it in my office with a SNES and a PlayStation 2, um, right beside my desk. And uh, I'll play like 15-20 minutes of Nintendo, because a lot of Nintendo games, like it doesn't matter if you just sit. You just play them for 15 minutes and it's all cool. Dr. Mario is like my go-to. <laughs> um, so I'll do that to like kind of not stare at photographs. Or I like coming in and working in my journals. It kind of gets past my writer's block, my editing block. Did I have to glue you up? I already glued that on. When did I glue that on? I totally don't remember gluing that on. But it is glued on. Weird. Because I meant for the, both of them to go together. I don't remember gluing that on. That's crazy. Alright. So, I just glued in the random... Is this, no, okay, that's the one that I did crooked. I have one more. Let's see. time finding places to put things, but that doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> right. I'm not crazy. I don't suffer from insanity. I enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> I think my roommate had that on a bumper sticker on her desk or something like that when I was in college. Good times. This thing is full of glue. It's like my, my glue box. When it was back to school, or just after back to school, I um, stocked up on glue sticks. Because <laughs> um, I live in the middle of nowhere, and uh, the glue sticks at the dollar store, the little tiny kind of mom and pop's dollar store, were terrible. Um, so yeah, Elmer's glue. I don't know, I'm still looking for like my Goldilocks glue stick. Okay, so I got all the big pieces glued in, so I guess we'll bind it off. Let's see if I can find the middle. And this is, okay, no, it's, it's not stable, it's actually sewn. I don't know if you can see. It's sewn. I got some random fibers. I think this was from, like, a, I don't know. Uh, a shirt that I bought at a festival. And I don't know whether I want to tie them off in the middle or tie them off at the top. So I have danglies from the top. Oh my, decisions, decisions. Actually, this green kind of goes good with purple. Don't know what I'm going to do to the cover yet. So I'm just tightening it moderately. Moderately. Can't language today. Jeez. Alright, so there's one. I've got like a whole, I don't know if this is going to be long enough. I kind of like it though. Rainbow shoelace. So the idea is just every, oh no, I don't want to put it there. Rainbow with my nice white palette. Hmm. Is this going to, that's kind of, uh, well, maybe I'll put it anyways. It's like, not, nah, it's not gonna work. Too short. Doop, doop, doop. That's okay, I got plenty of other stuff. Some old ribbons. 
really old frayed ribbon <laughs> and like knotted and, and, and generally terrible shit. Hey, this one would be good for the white. Yeah, I like that. Good enough for me. So what do you guys, what's your favorite thing to do when you're having a bad mood? <laughs> what is your... I was totally wanting like ice cream earlier. <laughs> or homemade cookies. My boyfriend didn't want to make me homemade cookies. He only makes them for like super duper special occasions. Because I can cook beautiful yummy things I can't bake for the life of me. I tried. I always make him a birthday cake for his birthday and <laughs> with varying amounts of success. <laughs> but I try. So it's like E for effort. I don't know what this is from. This is like a really nice, soft, flowy ribbon. Some like random fibers I've had. I don't know. How long? I suppose I could tie it anywhere and just scoop it up, not up to the top. Well, I guess maybe I don't need to tie them super tight. There. Because it's like, you know, it's going to get... I've seen other people's journals and they're just so cool. They're huge. Huge, huge, huge. Some yarn. This is my, uh, I guess, stick everything in it and do what I want journal. And I guess, yeah, I will, uh, I will, um, be doing, um, I guess I'll do it on top. Do, do, do. I'll, uh, we'll be doing videos when I work in my, um, totem journal, um, my travel journal. I've got, like, a list going in my bullet journal, um, of, like, YouTube videos, ideas, and I've got like half a page already, so be lots of stuff. I don't know, um, with my new job, uh, I'm still working at the paper mill, but I'm only working one day a week because I cut the night shift, and uh, I'm the newbie, so there's only one day a week. Oh, yay, blue with my really nice eyelash trim. So I'm working one day a week there, and I don't know how many, like, I've I got, I didn't get the position that they were offering, um, but, uh, they hired me, like, they have, um, they also have a guard on sick leave, um, and I think he's due to come back late December, so they want someone to replace while he's off, and, um, also, I guess, to help relieve people who want, you know, vacation time during the holidays and stuff like that. Um, and then after that, I'm just, I think, going to be on call, which is cool. I can cope with that. Um, so I don't know how busy I'm going to be, um, over the next month. So I'll still try to go for one, um, one, um, one video a week. Um, I know this week there were two. I didn't post, yeah, I did post the other one. Um, Green will go get this. Um, I'll be posting yeah, one, one video a week, hopefully. Um, and then, yeah, on quieter times, like I'm also working on a wedding right now, um, so that's taking a lot of my time. Once the wedding is done, and if I'm not working full time, maybe I'll be able to do two or three videos. That would be cool. Uh, maybe not long ones, but you know, like little ones. Like I just filmed, filming two today, I just filmed. Uh, I'll be posting this one first because I just did a bunch of little tutorial ones. Um, I just post, I just filmed a little flip through of this like really nifty book. So this will be coming up um, maybe next week or the week after, depends. Um, so it's just like a little book on lettering. So cool, love it. So I got that, and I have um, another little like the travels notebook, the travelers notebook. Um, 
insert tutorials that I did, like I did uh, one of graph paper that was like really detailed and with different methods to bind it and stuff like that. And I posted that last week. And then a few days later, um, I posted one on making um, an adult coloring book insert, which was a little bit faster and to the point. And then I have like a really super short one, which is like the third of the series, which is again just like a third, like a sketchbook uh, kind of. Um, that looks really cool. A sketchbook insert, which um, I haven't posted yet, which mm, probably get posted before this. So I'll put all those uh, in the description box too. Description box is going to be full. <laughs> And I guess, yeah, this last one, I think it'll be pretty good. Where is the missing? Uh, about here. I hope I haven't. I didn't glue down. I didn't, like, I used to have this parchment paper taped down to my other crafting desk. I haven't done it yet on this one. This looks so cool! I'm a bit like a magpie. <laughs> I like all kinds of different colors and textures and craziness. I'm just trying to make it a bit more even. Alrighty! So I really like this. So it just gives a little bit of structural integrity. And it just looks super fun. I even like this really ratty part of the ribbon. And seems all right. Okay. Uh, I have all kinds of cool stuff actually. I don't know what that is. I fussy cut out this weird. I see. I'll into it like a blank page. This weird gnarly tree from a magazine by Super Like. And um, I also cut out all the little fine branches too, but I don't think I'll use them. Or maybe I'll fussy cut some of the bigger ones out, or draw some. Um, so I got that. I got the sea turtle, which is kind of cool. Some trees. Another David Bowie. Poor David Bowie. I miss him so much. Some shiny blue paper. Uh, I guess those are just big pieces. I'm kind of liking all these like vegetable dealy things with flowers, flowers, flowers. I like, yeah, vegetables, 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 vegetables. That's a tree. Flowers. Aloe, which could be a plant or a vegetable. Crazy Asians eat. Eat. Sorry if you're Asian. I don't know. I've tried aloe vera once. And uh, I, I wasn't fond of it. <laughs> Just no, sorry. That's what you eat and you like it. Cool. Or maybe like the way I had it prepared was not cool. So if, if you eat aloe vera or have eaten aloe vera and liked it, let me know. I'm really curious. I love trying new foods. But uh, anyway, I'm human. I don't like stuff sometimes. Hmm. I guess I'll glue down these guys. Oops, some of them need to be cut. And like that, my clean desk is a mess. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere now. Okay, so I got this guy. And I got some carrots. I'm going to cut the page number off the bottom. Some carrots. I don't know. Some endivies. I don't know, maybe I'll just each side like that. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to put in. I got strawberries. Not sure where the strawberries fit in all that. I also have like these kind of pyramid thing of preserves. These are, I think these are from like a travel 
So it kind of sucks that. Maybe I can do this kind of thing. Strawberries. Before, like, I don't know, I had my scissors in a pile on one end of the desk, and I had, like, my paint in a tub. Just, my paint's still in a tub, but it's a lot further away. And then I had, like, a pile of washi and deco tape. <laughs> I had, like, my paintbrushes and jars, which are down the other end. Like, everything's so far. I used to be able to just, like, grab something. So now, yeah, I'm probably going to get my big fat head in the way more. I don't even know if I have other food cutouts. I'm sure if I like... I have like food magazines. And I don't have my trash can under my desk. I'll have to put that back. Right. Make more mess. I like that. I don't... That... Yeah, I got napkins. I have to practice gluing napkins. Lavender works. Chamomile? Maybe. I don't know. What you guys think? Some chamomile, some wildflowers. Oh, it's a vineyard. Vineyards kind of work. from Renfrew, Ontario, which is about an hour uh, northwest-ish from Ottawa. Um, I was going to a festival and we were like driving along the highway and there is a field of sunflower plants, uh, sunflower flowers in bloom because it was like August and it's, it's just like the happiest place on earth. You can't, like, you're staring at a field of like happy yellow flowers. There we go. It's amazing. Hmm. It's a shame that it sticks out because it looks cool. Well, I can like, if I scoot it down, then there's an empty blank space. And I have these little bits of tree. I also have. Do do do. I use some of this in my. One of the journals. Okay, I call it a day. Now I have like a whole whack pile of stuff to glue down. <laughs> but I kind of like it. It's all colorful and stuff. So yeah, big pile, like field, huge field of sunflowers, like, like kind of on a hill. So they kind of just went up into the horizon, never ending sunflowers. It was amazing and it made me intensely happy. That's why I like, I like, I love traveling, because like, I don't know, in this part of Quebec, everybody grows corn or soya beans. And that's about it. And occasionally you'll find somebody growing grain. Occasionally. Um, so yes, yeah, going somewhere else and seeing them, you know, like, grow something else is pretty cool. I don't know, Canada's weird like that. Like, each province is just kind of known for growing its thing, like, you know, um, Saskatchewan is kind of, like, all canola, <laughs> which is kind of cool, too, so, like, you're, like, whipping down the highway, and it's just, like, this shifting sea of yellow flowers, but, like, the whole province, like, rolling hills of canola, f canola flowers everywhere, it's pretty crazy, or at least it was when I was a kid, um, like, 
I mean, it's been like 20 years ago, almost, almost 20, like, almost 20 years. Crikey, making me feel old. <laughs> in my head, I'm still in my 20s, but I'm not anymore. I'm way not. Actually, yeah, I don't really relate to 20-year-olds either, so I guess I'm not a 20-year-old in my head anymore. I growed up. But yeah, I guess uh, my priorities have changed. I bought a house, trying to make a living despite my chronic pain, and, you know, eat proper meals. And <laughs> Although, today all I wanted was ice cream. And I'm like, I don't want an adult today. Don't make me. I think I'm gonna scoop that over. It's gonna be sticky, but maybe it'll dry. Endives. Do any of you like endives? I kind of have like a hate and love relationship with them. They're bitter. Or what's the weirdest vegetable you've eaten? I'm trying to think, what's the weirdest vegetable I've eaten? No, it's not a vegetable, but I've had like oriental black fungus, which I love. It's really cool. You buy it dried, but it like reconstitutes super quickly. So like, if you want... I find just biting mushrooms boring. Um, my boyfriend and I actually pick wild mushrooms. Like, we've studied it for like five or six years before we started actually picking them. And we stick to uh, two or three varieties that were like, whoa! don't do that, that we're really, you know, confident about, um, but yeah, I love it. So I find just having one kind of mushroom in a meal boring because <laughs> I'm crazy. Um, so I like having the black fungus because, yeah, a little bit goes a long way, it reconstitutes super quick. Um, they kind of have like a chewy texture. Actually, I bet a lot of you have actually had this black fungus without even knowing. I was surprised. If you're a fan of hot and sour soup, you know, like they have all those sh strips of things in it. Uh, the black, like the white strips are usually tofu. The black ones are the dark, dark brown, kind of gray, weird looking ones. That's black fungus. It's used a lot in, in oriental cuisine. Um, yeah, and I love them. So like whenever I go to the Asian market, I like stock up on those. And they're relatively cheap. Like if you get dried shiitakes, they can get expensive. Uh, oh my! Right out of glue! No! So yeah, that's I guess a weird one. Um, they also have like a white fungus, which is similar, which I've had once or twice. But yeah, they just kind of have like a chewy, chewier texture, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I'm talking about all the random things today. <laughs> I've done a lot of random things in my life, <laughs> like eating black fungus. Ladies, I'm the type of person, if I go to a restaurant and there's something on the menu I've never had before, no matter like kind of how weird it is, I draw my line at insects. I'm, I'm, I'll never eat an insect unless I'm starving and have to. Um, I'm like, it'll be like my first choice. Oh, I don't want to use my extra straw glue. I only have a few of those. doesn't seem to be doing a good job. Doesn't matter, it's a junk journal and I can... Like, it's not like I'm gluing something super thick. It just mag magazine paper. Some of it's like rather cheap magazine paper. And they're just not gluing. <laughs> Ugh. Fail. It's doing its job. I'm already feeling a bit better. I don't know if it's because it's talking random weird stuff with you guys or the fact that I'm gluing random things to a page, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll totally take it. Ah, I know a few, um, I'm having a few YouTubers who follow me now, which thank you guys. Um, actually, um, uh, I'm really terrible with names and I'm so sorry, but you'll know who... 
this person will know who I'm talking about. Um, someone subscribed to my channel, and she's from like two hours away from me in uh, Montreal. Uh, she'll probably chime in in the comments. She's chimed in a bunch of my videos, which is super awesome. And it's super cool. I need to like... I haven't had much time to like watch videos the past week because I've been busy busy. But I'll start going through your huge repertoire. Um, and yeah, super cool. She did a, a dollar store haul video today and it's cool because it's my dollar store chain too. Well, the one that's 50 kilometers away because I live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, Dollarama, yay! Oh yeah, that goes there. So I don't know, I might like watercolor. Good grief. Watercolor, some marker, I don't know, ink in between everything. The other page is like in bad shape. What the heck happened? <laughs> what the heck happened? Hmm. Right. Apples. Apples are like a pretty big thing here in the fall. So I guess, yeah, uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of vineyards, so like, there'll be corn, corn fields everywhere. Um, if the farmer's not planting corn, they'll plant soybeans, I guess, to help kind of put uh, nitrogen back in the soil. It's, a garden, it's like a gardening technique. Um, instead of just, um, I don't know what the term is in English. In French, they have a term called zachaire, which is like a part of their field that they, they like just don't plant anything for a year or two to kind of like let it recuperate random factoid I remember from elementary school. <laughs> I remember the random things. Well, maybe I'll just go in Sharpie. I might watercolor after two. Who knows? Sharpie. Actually, it's not a Sharpie. It's a big permanent marker. Um, so yeah, you'll get the corn or the soybeans. Um, I've seen buckwheat once or twice. Buckwheat's a really weird plant crazy. Super easy to grow. Um, apples, like everywhere. There'll be like huge apple orchards. And vineyards. Like vineyards are getting really popular now. Like I remember like when I was a, a teenager, a lot of people were investing, buying off property. Oh man, it must have been so expensive to do that. They'd buy like a field, like property with like fields or hay fields even, because hay fields usually are on the hilly parts. So I'm kind of like in the foothills of the Appalachians, pretty much, is where I am. So, like, uh, 30 minutes to the north, you end up in the lowlands of the St. Lawrence, which is just, like, plains. And then a half hour to the south, uh, well, more 45 minutes, you hit the border to the U.S., so northern Vermont, and it's just, like, that's where the mountains start. And here we have, like, mountains kind of spread out here and there. Um, and I'm in... Um, the St. Francis Valley system. Uh, so like there's the St. Francis River. Uh, so it's like all valleys and stuff. Valleys and hills. With the odd mountain here and there. It's really cool. Actually, I actually really love where I live. It's pretty. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, so yeah, we get apples and um, orchard, uh, apple orchards and vineyards. Pretty cool. But uh, no huge fields of sun sunflowers. Just a shame, because yeah, if I have a bad day, I totally go just sit by the edge of the sunflower field and just chill out there. Because it's, it's nice. I don't know what it is about sunflowers, they just make me happy. about art journaling and what makes me feel better. I don't feel pressure to do anything like I just glued a bunch of cutouts to a page and scribbled with a bright green marker that's making me happy right now. <laughs> you know, like I could come and outline. I just got the, their studio metallic markers from the dollar store. Dollarama, to be precise, if you're Canadian. I don't know. I think Dollarama is Dollarama. 
outside of Quebec too. It's like a lot of stores um, will have a different name in Quebec than, than the rest of everywhere else. Like Staples here is Bureau en Gros. Um, Loomis, uh, the art store, is Omer de Serre. And I, Omer de Serre isn't any much more French than Omis would be. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. But, you know, that's that's the way it is. Yeah, I kind of like that. You know what? Pardon me. Excuse me. I did a lot of cleaning yesterday before my roommate started moving her stuff in. And I am been sneezing. Well, actually, find a place to put this. I don't know, where do we put this? I kind of feel it has to... I don't know where to stick this. I guess that works. I really like Monarch Butterflies. I think... I've already used it, didn't I? I have a really... Oops. Really, really gorgeous picture of a Monarch Butterfly that I took at the Botanical Gardens. I think I already used it as a as a thanks for watching image. And I think I also used the, um, I like butterflies, the rice paper butterfly I also took at uh, I guess goes there, at the Botanical Gardens as a picture too. This guy, he's just so pretty. This one too. Like, horde, hordy, horde, 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 horde. <laughs> I don't want to put the green on. I like the green one, but I don't want to put the green on. I guess I'll put this one. Because the green is just going to blend in and everything. Mm. I guess I need one down here, I guess. I guess that's working pretty good. See, I guess that's why, like, all these flower stickers were on this sheet. And I guess I bought the sheet because I like the butterflies on it. But I, I, I don't know, these flowers aren't my thing. And I know a lot of people like these kind of styles of flowers, and I don't know, they just don't float my boat. They're not for me. Let's see, I got some more butterfly stickers. I'm totally not addicted to butterflies. <laughs> nope, not me. Actually, there's there's a reason why I like butterflies. Um, when um, I was a little girl, um. My mama passed away in a car accident. I was all of five years old and had just started um, kindergarten. She died in a car crash. Um, but, you know, being five years old, um, I don't have so many memories of her. Um, and the ones that I did have, have faded away. But some of the things that I do remember, like, I remember she had a butterfly necklace. Like, crystal clear. I remember her butterfly necklace. And I remember she had, like, this kind of spray, like, aerial, aerosol can spray of, like, perfume or body spray. And there were butterflies on that. So it's like, my personal symbol of my mother is, is just butterflies. So, it's, 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 it's a happy thing. Like, butterflies. There's just something about them, too. Which is funny, because I'm terrified of most insects. I really am. Completely terrified of some ins most insects. Not gonna lie, most of them. Creep me the heck out. Um, but I'm cool with butterflies. And I, I used to be cool with ladybugs. They're cute too. Except now we have like these crazy Asian... They're not red, they're more like brownish, orange. Uh, and they bite! That, like, stopped my like of ladybugs right there. Nope! 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 No, that's not doing much. That might not 
do much, but my gel pen might. I should have a silver gel pen. So yeah, no, um, I got, re <laughs> we were moving cordwood into the basement in the fall last year, and, I uh, know, two years ago, every time I would step out the, like we had a, a door that goes directly into the basement, every time I would step out the door, I would get swarmed by these like, newfangled Asian ladybugs, and they would bite me. <laughs> and it was not cool. They hurt. <laughs> so yeah, now, like, I don't think I've seen one of the really nice, pretty, red, shy, polite ladybugs of uh, our childhood in a really long time. So now I'm just like, nope, ladybug, nope, don't want you on me, don't want you near me, go away. <laughs> I realize I'm a weird person. But uh, as my stepdaughter would say, we need to be weird in this family to belong, so it all works. <laughs> See, some of these have gold around them already, and some of them have silver, but I'm just... It's something to do. And I don't know what else I'll do. Maybe I'll put some pockets on this page eventually. I see something cool for a pocket. Did I miss one? I think I missed this one. So I guess that's pretty much it. I've exhausted all, well not all, but the, the stuff I really wanted to get in here. I've got all kinds of stuff glued down. And uh, it's cool, like, see it's bulked up just from our little bits of farting around. Let's see if I can find this. There we go. Follow the green! So yeah! Thanks for joining me guys. Um, if you like this kind of video, if you want to just have some art alongs while I ramble about all kinds of insanity of my life, thumbs up or say it in the comments. If you don't like it, you can gently say it in the comments too or you can go watch someone else's channel. But yeah, if you guys like it, I'll do more. It's kind of nice, nice for me. I, I had fun. I don't know if you guys had fun. I uh, didn't do anything like groundbreaking <laughs> but uh, yeah I think um, most of these cutouts are from like a tourism journal for uh, New Brunswick I think it was like a, there was like a chapter in, in it about some food festival so I think most of the pictures are from that um, but yeah I think I'm totally cause I love these like this is like such I don't know why but I really like the asparagus <laughs> um, Maybe it's the foodie in me, but yeah, it's just really pretty. The tomatoes are pretty too. But I think, yeah, I'm going to um, get some seed catalogs this winter to have some stuff to cut out of them. Because they send them to you for free. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I'll probably order some seeds too. I want to... Uh, I really like poppies, so I want to grow poppies this summer. I don't know, I'll have to check. I have I live in the bottom of the valley, so my yard's really wet and really shady, so I have to see if poppies will grow in the shade or partial shade. But yeah, I wanna I wanna grow poppies and uh, I wanna grab grow brown eyed Susans. I really love those. Um, I have forget me nots growing all over my yard, which is kinda cool. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!